Hello everyone, welcome back to Pwn TV. And as you can see, this is not our usual venue where we're actually showing some gameplay, but we are showing a video replay of some gameplay that we did previously. And why am I doing this? Well, because I want to talk to you guys briefly about some technical difficulties that I was running into while I was updating content for my YouTube channel. Now, I use a few different pieces of software to make videos, one of which is OBS streaming software, another of which is VLC Media Player. A lot of people do it in different ways. Obviously, mine is a bit unique, and for what my intents and purposes are, it works quite nicely. So, what you see right in front of you is a replay of a video that is being played, uh, being played through VLC Media Player, and streamed, uh, recorded also as a window capture in OBS streaming software. And that video ultimately is what I'm going to post, right? So that's, that's my process as of right now, this moment, in this video. And what I want to talk to you guys about is some issues. If you're doing something like this, where you're actually doing a window capture of VLC Media Player, you're probably running into this ish issue right now, simply because VLC Media Player just had an update, and the update was a 2.x version update with a graphical user interface overhaul in which the entire border of this window was changed, and some of the settings internally were changed. So I want to take a moment in this video to talk about the settings in particular that were changed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to my Tools drop-down list and click Preferences or Control-P to get to Preferences. I think it's Control-P, yeah. And what that's going to do is that's going to pull up a Preferences uh, window, and inside of there I can click on Video. And right around where it says Output, you can actually see a drop-down list here. And it's probably by default going to be set to Automatic. Okay, well, with this version update that we just had, the automatic output actually points to the Direct 3D 11 video output or similar, one of these that's not working. I'm pretty sure it's this one. It points to this one automatically by default. And when you do that, you can see that when I actually close VLC and reopen it, you can see there's an issue right here because it's not rendering the video properly. So if I go into full screen like this, you see a black screen. That's not what you want. You want to see Lion. That's what, what I just had pulled up, right? So that's not going to work. So what I'm going to actually do now is just go back and show you the automatic settings just to kind of confirm uh, what's going on there. I'll actually put back the one that I had so you can see it. And I'll show you the automatic settings that are probably going to be what you have on your end if you just downloaded the update. It's going to automatically be set to point to one of these newer ones that might not be configured for your system. And in my particular case, it's not configured for my system. And it's a big problem for uh, my intents and purposes when I'm trying to show VLC, right? So you can see now with automatic being selected, I'm running into that issue where it's showing that that screen with no video. It should be showing some video here, and it's not. So that's a big, big issue. Uh, I'm actually going to go back into Preferences, pull up that on the stream as well, and actually go back and take this automatic and put it to something that actually works. So Direct3D9 works, GL video for Windows, video in general works. Most of these work. Uh, GDI works, but it's a bit choppy. Disable is one that you can't do. and I just noticed on my OBS, I actually have an issue, another completely different issue besides this one, of showing drop-down lists. For whatever reason, when I'm showing a window capture uh, on OBS, the drop-down lists that I click on don't actually render on the window capture, but they render, they obviously render on the window. So you can't see all these options, but there's a ton of options here that you could select from. If you click disable at the bottom, though, it will fuck everything for you. Don't do that. But I'm just going to click any of those other random ones and you can see it repopulated the name and the uh, uh, in the drop-down list uh, right here the text so I'm just gonna pick any of these pretty much in, I'll just tab through these so you can kind of see what they are so automatic is the first option and then you have a direct 3d 11 which does not work for me and uh, 3d 9 etc all these different ones that you can pick and so the last option is disable and if you do that the in for whatever reason the preferences menu in general stops working like all of the options the GUI is just broken if you click disable on the output whatever I don't understand why that is but that's interesting I ran into that into that problem just a little 
little while ago, and I could not even click reset preferences. That button was broken, so I couldn't reset anything. I had to uninstall and reinstall, guys. It was the worst. Anyway, what? after looking through all of these outputs, I learned that one of these OpenGLs is just fine for what I'm doing. I think it's nice and clean, but it doesn't really matter which one you pick, so long as it actually renders, obviously that's the goal. And you can see now that it is rendering, so I have no problem, I can click full screen, and I actually get a full screen video so I can make YouTube content, you know, by showing you some replays for whatever whatever I'm trying to use VLC for. So I just wanted to make a video for my channel to talk about the VLC media player updates that just got pushed because for several days now I was running into issues where I could not configure VLC properly anymore in my OBS and my OBS is broken enough as it is. I still can't figure out how to get my webcam to show up anymore. That's broken. Not physically broken, but the OBS settings are not configured properly, so I need to fix that. And I still need to figure out how on my Alienware machine running Windows, whatever, Windows 10, uh, my Alienware machine has a lot of issues rendering things, and I'm wondering if maybe that's why the drop-down lists don't show up. Look at this. I'm clicking on video right now, and there's no there's a drop-down list that's not being rendered on OBS. What the fuck? Like, if I click on the tools and go to preferences, or control P to get to, to preferences, I'll just get to the preferences window and show you guys that again. Okay, so there's that, and of course, VLC crashed because I pulled up the preferences window while I was actually looping the video. One second, let me pause the video so it doesn't loop, because that, for whatever reason, VLC has a bug and that that happens for that uh, so let me go ahead and pull up the preferences one more time see if that works I need to actually reconfigure this really quick because that also is an OBS bug so I just I just uh, showed you guys a VLC bug and an OBS bug OBS bug was showing not the preferences window VLC bug was crashing when I actually re-looped re the video while the preferences window was pulled up so this preferences window is really fucking with shit right now it is yellowing hard it is definitely yellowing hard but you can definitely see there is a drop down list on my screen and you can see when I go through it all the options will change but on my screen when I actually when I click click through all the options, it's just not showing the list. It's not showing the list, not at all, and that's a big problem too because like when I'm trying to describe things, you can't really see all these options unless I go one by one with the arrow keys to go through them like this. You can't really see what I'm talking about and that's a problem. So I need to figure out how to get that to play as well. I have not been able to get that to work with window captures, but I have obviously gotten it to work with display captures. If I actually did a display capture right now you should be able to see this drop down list actually before I end the video let me try a display capture I have had limited success with display captures in my day so let me see if I can get this to actually work and uh, it's not it's not working so it's just definitely not working so yeah I've got a few things to work out with OBS if you guys have any insight and you want to help me leave some comments in the comment section of this video and let me know what you think about some of these problems that I run into and uh, let me know if I can maybe try to help you with some other content like this if you want to see more videos like this in the future um, talking about other maybe other pieces of software because I'm a software engineer in in training and uh, I can maybe shed some insight on that I uh, would definitely like to know more about OBS so definitely trying to pick everybody's brain on OBS leave some comments like I said that's it for this video though I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here thank you so much for taking the time to watch it and uh, yeah lion is hot right guys right all right I will see you guys in the next video appreciate your time peace out